Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Thursday to all you listeners around the globe. Thank you for joining us today on The Money Cure. I'm your host, Sean Robert Grant. Um, also want to extend this opportunity out um, to you guys. If you're a Facebook friend or on any social media, um, feel free to send me a message about any questions you may have or anything you would like me to do a particular episode upon as it relates to money, wealth, prosperity, and spiritual principles around it. Um, Also, if we aren't social media friends, uh, shoot me an email at shaung04 at gmail.com and I will take heed to your message because I think it's very important anytime you do a podcast to be as intuitive possible, but also be as interactive with your audience as possible because this is just as much about you as it is about me. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, to hearing some of your feedback on things that, you know, you have questions about and things that you want me to to talk about as we move along um, down the course of conducting this here podcast. So with that being said, I hope This moment finds you feeling rich, feeling prosperous, feeling wealthy, not settling for anything less than that, right? And so, you know what's interesting is, is I was creating the title for this episode, and the first thing I put was, don't settle. But then I'm like, wait a minute, nope, 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 nope. You see, I've been teaching myself, especially as it relates to money, to never use negative statements, okay? To negative use, to negative use never. <laughs> to never use negative statements because you want the energy as pure, as positive, as neutralized as you can around the topic of money because that only allows your 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 channels to open wider, right? To your source. So I was putting don't settle and then I put choose not to settle, right? And what I mean by choose, see, choose is a powerful word when it comes to creating that level of money in your life where, you know, you feel really good about where you are. It is a matter of choosing, demanding, and expecting. Actually, there's one more, deciding. Choosing, demanding, expecting, deciding are some of the most powerful words when it comes to um, creating wealth, creating prosperity, creating more cash flow. So, and the reason I say these words, I'll say them again, choosing, demanding, expecting, deciding. I was doing my, my spiritual time last year, early last year, and I wanted to get to the bottom of what makes my subconscious mind move into action. I just came up with another one. Number five, command. Okay. (laughs) You know, it's funny how they just keep coming in. So choosing, deciding, expecting, demanding, commanding, right? Those are subconscious mind power words, right? And when your desire is strong to be at a certain point, use these words to your advantage. Use those words to your advantage because those are going to get the attention of your subconscious mind. And as we know, when something is sinks into your subconscious mind, you're on autopilot. It's going to work for you regardless And it does this whether it's negative stuff or whether it's positive stuff. The subconscious mind is going to bring about the very thing that it believes to be true, right? It's like I said the other day, we live what we believe to be true. And that starts with our subconscious mind. That's why you got to feed it as much stuff as you possibly can because it is catching, absorbing, processing stuff left and right, right? Everything you expose your eyes to, even from a peripheral peripheral perspective, it's a tongue, tongue twister, 
your subconscious mind is, is catching, right? So if you're in your house, surround yourself with messages that you want to see all the time, right? Surround yourself with stuff that really allows you to tap in to what it is that you want to create, right? And so getting back to desire, desire is key, right? Because desire is that thing that gets you fed up when you know things can be better, when you know things can, things are in your power to transform, right? And so I was reading um, the works of Lawrence Scovel Shen, and, you know, she has some very, very timeless wisdom about just a lot of different things. Um, and I've read her books a couple of times because I always seem to get more out of it the more that I spiritually progress. And, you know, she makes a really fantastic point throughout the book of really being firm in your desire, right? It's the realization of your desire that is your savior. Neville Goddard is another one who does a really great job of showing us the impact of what desire does, right? And especially when it's a pure desire emanating from the universe. And so getting back to, to Florence Goble Shen, you know, she was telling the story of how, you know, God doesn't put us on this earth as us. And then all of a sudden says, this guy's going to be a billionaire and this guy's going to be poor. No, he doesn't do that. He gives all of us the same amount of resources, the same amount of time, different gifts, but we all have relatively the same things. So why is it one guy can be worth $70 billion and another guy is struggling to pay his bills? It's all in the desire to embody God's consciousness, which equals wealth, God's presence, which equals wealth, um, God in manifestation, which equals money. It all comes from the desire to be able to embody that to where it becomes automatic, you know, because unless your ability to make money is automatic stemming from the subconscious mind, as we talked about, you're going to struggle and you're going to encounter sometimes massive struggle because you're your own worst enemy. African proverb I love to this day because it's so relevant. When there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. Right. When there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. And why is that? It's because everything is an outpicturing of you. So you have if you have demons on the inside, guess what? You're going to have demons on the outside. If you have lack on the inside, you're going to have lack on the outside. The inside determines what really transpires in your life as you see it unfolding from a day-to-day -day perspective. Now that is extremely powerful because when I realized that, I said, you know what? I am going to feed my subconscious mind everything I possibly can about wealth, prosperity, happiness, joy, harmony, connection to source, consciousness. I'm going to be obsessive, right? Now, it's not obsessive to the point where I lose track of life, but when I'm focused and I'm zeroed in on that, if I'm working on editing, I'm feeding my mind subconsciously with, with, with things that tell me I'm, I'm rich, tell me I'm a multimillionaire, tell me that money is pouring into my life. Why? Because it's either that or something else. But see, when I get back to one of those power words, I'm choosing, I'm deciding, I'm commanding, I'm expecting and I'm setting my mind up to set me up on autopilot to succeed in everything that I can do. And it's working. 
It's working, right? I set up five different podcasts that I still do episodes on, and I still kind of scratch my head. How is it possible to do five podcasts? It's hard enough trying to do one. But it's because my subconscious mind has gotten it that I need to express my gifts in whatever way that the divine chooses is best. And it, it's received that and it finds ways to implement it. Meant it. it finds ways to open up so I can, I can implement it. And it will do the exact same thing for you. So it's up to us to choose not to settle because guess what? God has leveled the playing field for all of us. He's leveled it. He's leveled it by basically telling us, look, you're all starting from the same beginning point. What you do with it is up to you. Yeah, there may be struggle. Yeah, there may be hardship. But what's going to determine whether or not, in this case of this podcast, you prosper and prosper greatly is your desire and your resolve. Right? Your desire and your resolve. And all I'm telling you right now is just don't settle. Don't settle. If your life is truly not something you can look at, if you can't look at your bank account and smile, if you can't look at the opportunities that you have in your life right now and smile, things need to change. Because here on this podcast, it's about succeeding in a way that brings you joy, not just settling. You know, settling is that thing that all of a sudden you look back and you you shake your head because you wonder why you never took the opportunity to do what you wanted to do. And that's not for you. That's not for you. I know it's not for you because you're listening. Choose not to settle. Choose to rise higher. Choose to be your very best. And I promise you. The universe will open up when that desire and that resolve is 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 strong and is powerful and is moving from a place within the subconscious mind. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Always a pleasure. Have a wonderful Thursday. Hope you receive all the money and prosperity you can handle. Take care.